111 and I'm back here with some capture the flag on overgrown um, this is my I shouldn't have said back here but um, this is my uh, very first commentary of um, me playing Modern Warfare 2 and commentating while playing so um, don't mind if I pause while I talk a little bit here. As as you can see, I eventually I will do that. And um, yes, I am just waiting right here. I am going over here now to. Nothing much I could have done right there. Um, yeah. Um, this is as as I said before, my first um, commentary of me playing Modern Warfare 2. Um, yes, I, I I don't understand this right now. How they're how my teammates are letting them get the flag so many times right now um, so I'm just gonna stay here right now and protect the flag and try to let my teammates get their flag um, yes so not much you like I want to talk about just Yeah. Yes, this is very frustrating right now. Just waiting for my. Yeah, and of course, noob tube, you know, like always. Ha ha ha. So, um, I, I really did not understand this part right here, right now. Um, since that, yeah, um, pretty frustrating right here, right now, um, double kill right there, I hope, I guess, <laughs> um, so they are getting us pretty good right now. Because I, I think they're, um... Uh, using the uh, tactical insertion at our, at our flag spawn. So... And if you guys want to know, the PP2000 with FMJ is within one of the best flat uh, guns that you can use because it is very powerful and um, it's very accurate you can you can shoot very far with it I, I, I don't know, I don't understand this part right here right now. I hit him multiple times, but... Yeah. Nothing you can do. So I have to wait in here a little bit because the enemy team has a Pablo and a Harrier out. And there's not much I can do with those out here.
As you can see right there how good this gun is. It shoots very far and um, very powerful and very accurate. Yes. Going to the next round right here. Um, I'm just going to try to this time I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to try to uh, protect our flag. And as you can see, they're camping everywhere they're, where they can. And my team is not doing a good job of protecting the flag. They're just sitting around nowhere, basically, and waiting for them to capture our flag. And I hope right now that um, my teammates might get a little bit better at this and protect the flag a little bit more. And as you can see, they're all just camping at one spot. And it's basically impossible for us to get... Um, yeah. Over there and... And get our flag. Because there's this one person up here that's... Yeah. Yeah, um these people yeah, I, I really have to say this is very, very, very annoying because they're they're just all as you can see they're they just camp and jump and yeah. And I, as you might see, I am shooting them and nothing is happening. So I, I, I am hoping that my uh, teammates will keep the flag right there so they will not get it. And um, yeah, they, I have their, all of them are using the, as I'd say, newbiest guns that they that this game has, including the Scar H, M16, and every other one that they got. So I am trying to make it over here and try to stop them from getting our flag and as you can see again you shoot them nothing happens how lovely always and currently I am beating all my teammates with 500 points which I have to say is really sad because um, this is this is this is just too easy you know this is very easy to accomplish but my teammates just do not know that and um, I'm using right now the uh, PP2000 with extended mags and yeah as, as you can see again, I shot him multiple times through the wall with full metal jacket, and um, yeah, somehow he survived that, which I have to say is quite annoying. And of course, one of them is camping, yet again, with the sniper rifle. 
up on, I, I think it's called um, Big Mama's House or something like that. And as you can see, yet again, one of the most powerful guns shoots him 30 times and amazingly, they do not die. And then this dude comes up.